Hi there Capricorn, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm going to jump straight in. guys get comfy all right there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment because this card's come up in three readings so as I explained to Sagittarius which I didn't explain to Scorpio but Please check out Scorpio Sagittarius. It doesn't mean if you saw not your sun, moon rising and stuff like that. Because if the moon is in Libra or it's in Pisces and you're not a Libra or Pisces, it still affects you. So you might, depending on your emotions, it depends on your en energy, it depends on everything really. If you get more pull towards that at this current time, this reading is for now, even though you can see it in a month and it resonates, but it might hit you now. So if I say a sign is important for you to check out, it might be that, like I said, the, the planetary system is affecting you more, even though it's not your star sign. So please check out Scorpio and Sagittarius because this is to do with energetic form and the planetary systems. That's why I'm stating that. So this re may not resonate with you, doesn't resonate today, it just doesn't resonate today, don't worry about it, maybe you're progressing and this is, I target for people who need to know what's going on, more, more newbies really. If you are new, please check out my playlist. Let's jump in. This to me is something, you're feeling confident about is this your relation? Is this what I say relationship? So you're still feeling like you understand, need to understand the dynamics of it. It's more to do with union. Okay. So, right. Sorry, I'm reading the card and figuring it out. This is the Ten of Cups, which means. Yeah, it's related to the two, which I just said, I'll repeat Scorpio Sagittarius they're telling me is to do with um you fill your cups to the 10 which energetic form that's not dripping that's form alignment goes inside all that red is the you know the veins and all those vessels inside and affects outside energetically goes outside to your twin flame with the orange so this reading is for someone who understands that concept if you don't understand it then this reading may be what you need to do to get onto your twin flame journey to get your ten of cups total emotional fulfillment then this card represents what they mean by that as it the inside and outside and also adding on the extra bonus of your twin flame now luxury generally means which is the next one is um, once again, can you see it's form? It's not to do with, uh, and can you see your, these are like arrows, can you see? That the form of the arrows is pointing down that you get your two of cups, then represents your person fills the two of cups. This is all to do with alignment. I don't know what's going on with alignment these days. Like I said, it might be the planetary system. I don't really go into that. I'm more of a tarot -y person. You've balanced out your emotions, your um, blossoming and your understanding. There's more than um, that you need to know is what they're telling me with this. So you've either gone in and understood my moon card um, definition. If you haven't and you're wondering what I'm on about, please check out my playlist and listen to the moon card. Because to me, in my readings, the moon card is the most important card when it comes to the twin flame dynamic. Um because that's what creates um, the moon card 
they want me to expand. The moon card is about what you don't know. So what you don't know is why twin flames don't get in union because they focus on what they don't know. So you need to understand why the moon card is so important. So this is creating you're feeling good and you're feeling confident and you want to go towards the two of cups, your love person, which is, you know, your twin flame. That's what that's saying. You want your ten of cups, which is leading towards your two of cups. So let's see what's going on with your person with this one here. This is the uh, Prince of Swords, but let me read it. As you can see, it's a bit more um, deep than what you know. This is someone moving towards you <coughs> lovingly, but is... There's a lot to juggle, like I said, with the moon card here. There's a lot of juggling here. This is a lot of, um, how would I say, breakups, is what I'm reading from this card as well. But the breakup, oh, I can't even show you what I'm saying, is the beginning of a form, which is like, it's, say you... Uh, there's a certain science towards the twin flame journey is what I'm trying to say. So you get to a certain stage and if you're loving yourself, then you put up your boundaries, then you walk away emotionally, not physically, not with words swearing. You emotionally pull back, let's just say. Then you go forward with this card, right? And because that's like the chariot, can you see he's kind of moving forward, right? And then something else happens. They're like little triggers, little triggers. That's why the tower cards within the um, the um, the tower reading. And then you move forward. All these pieces are a bigger picture of a uh, um, uh, uh, a puzzle. And once it's all completed. You might think, oh, well, I keep breaking up, I keep separating, even though you're at the Ten of Cups and you might be worried about that in the future. But they're all put together in perfect alignment. You don't understand that because you're not supposed to know because this is the Fool's journey, which is jumping into the unknown. So that's what is going on here with all these two of pentacles, two of pentacles, two of pentacles, two of pentacles, like... He moves, when he comes to see you, he's in green. He loves you without a shadow of a doubt. You focus on the sword, which is not up. So he's trying to be in his truth every time he comes closer to you. But the two of pentacles, so he comes towards you and puts his juggling life, his drama behind him. That's why I say you don't bring it up because they always come towards you without it. They come in their loving state and want to be with you. But underneath this card is he's juggling that's two of pentacles but in this deck two of pentacles represents change so if you focus on him just coming towards you lovingly it doesn't matter about truth or not don't watch that just watch him come towards you um in this loving state because he's putting his crap behind you when he comes this is bringing all this like i said with all this can you see in the card let me see if you can see what i was trying to explain uh, there, can you see all these lines? It's like all forming together as one. Well, I don't know if you can understand that, but that's all one. It's not a separation. It's all parts of oneness, which you are with your person. You're all one, even though they're all split is what I'm trying to say. So he comes towards you lovingly and he's balancing a lot of stuff. This is the three, this is which is the celebration. So if you don't focus on the juggling, what he's doing, and you focus of the change, the transformation that's happening with this, then that will turn into the three, which is the celebration instead of you focusing on the three of cups. So that's why that card was really important because of there may be an interdiction here and there may be a third party. But once again, this is yellow and green. You can kind of see it even though it's blurred there, right? Which represents um, love and healing with the yeah, green is the um, heart chakra and yellow is the sun of healing. And with this symbol here, which is Venus, so it's like he loves you. It doesn't matter if he's coming with an addiction or a third party or anything like this, because this is the seven of cups, which um, represents choices. But it's not to do with that. Don't see it as muddy and dripping and blurry and all that. 
you've got to see it. He comes towards you loving. It's the same colours, yellow and um, green. So, like I said, this is to do with what's going on. Let's say, what you can't see. What you can't see with this card here. Now, I'll explain it. I explained it in the other two readings, but I'll explain it here. This is form. This is energetic form. This triangle and this square, which is like, when you think about it, it's your wish come true because it's in the... It's in the um, the shape of the star when you have a aha moment tower moment this is these little zigzags what well, it's going in all directions which means it's going onto your twin flame with the union colors here this represents i won't go into that one this goes deep this represents mercury which is a uh, fast movement and because it's um swiftness because energetic form does move quick it's well yours is one so it's got yeah this is swiftly this is the eight of wands as well so it's not this in this reading it doesn't mean he's going to communicate anything this is what is happening the unknown which you don't know what is happening that's what this is stating so the unknown is that by you understanding this dynamics this is how this communicates to your person. And I said that symbol represents uh, Mercury, which is um, Gemini, which is um, Gemini is the twins. So the twin flame and the lover's card. This is how you push this forward. This is the tree of life. This is what you need to heal with the yellow in the background. The um, your rooted belief systems that makes this progress this tree the four of discs on this side the four of discs that side which means i'm stuck stop getting stuck you know heal with the sun symbol here and heal this situation and work on it because this is the eight of discs by going internal looking internal one eye is insight inner knowing high priestess this means be your high priestess self work on this situation correctly then you won't be stuck which as you are one this is one tree won't go on to your person being stuck so that's into uh, in, interesting but underneath this one which i went into detail it's like don't worry about it this is someone who worries when they turn up say they worry that oh he's going to leave me with the person when they're gone worries oh well, he's still coming to me drinking worries oh he's still smoking don't worry about it I won't get too pulled into this card, but the main thing here, look, it's the moon. It's more than what you know. And um, just focus on your person. You staying in this card, focusing on getting that, working inside and out, pushes your person. This is the next stage he will be, the knight of swords. Now, I've had a new a few subscribers, so I'm going to have to go over this card and get um the night is not as your twin flame it is nothing to do with a soulmate a night is known as a player in the soulmate connection your twin flame a player in a, a, a night in this reading is someone who it kind of comes around in the same aspect of what they say it comes around you no know, has fun jokes around has sex and go yes that's what they do <laughs> but he still loves you look it's green and yellow flies in flies out and the worries here you don't worry about that because you are in the science this is scientific with this card this is the science of the twin flame it's not you're not a soulmate so when they come in and then you go on another tower reading oh he's coming in as a player and a joker and that's him being his true self that's what he's like. He likes to be young. He likes to mess around, have sex. And then he goes back to his stupid responsibilities, which is another reading and blah, blah, blah. If you're worried about it, go in my playlist, which you should do anyway, because it's got tons of other stuff if you're new, about the twin flame dynamic. And also check out, if you're worried about him coming in and have her having sex and going, check out the Cheetahs um, third party video. That goes in more details and make you have an understanding of what's going on with this dynamic. And it's not as what you see. Also, um, I just want to state this here. There's two swords on that flying towards you. So here he's in his double bubble truth. They want you to, to know that. doesn't matter about this. 
don't watch that when he comes towards you um but they're just saying please watch the scorpion the sagittarius one because of it's related to you and this reading so hopefully this has been good for you and thanks for listening